Hey everybody, it's Rachel with Rachel Q Stitches and welcome to my channel. Today is Tuesday, August 30th, 2022, and this is floss tube number 74. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new to my channel, this is a channel mostly about cross stitch. Um, sometimes I might throw in quilting or crochet or English paper piecing or something along those lines but for the most part we talk about cross stitch and that's what you're going to get for this video with a little sneak peek of a quilt that i'm working on if you're a returner thank you so much for coming back and new people new subscribers thank you so much for subscribing Whew. thank you so much for subscribing <laughs> i'm rushing um and if you're not subscribed please consider doing so um it helps my channel grow it helps um get the word out about the wonderful hobby of cross stitch. So if you're not subscribed, please do so. Um, today I got quite a bit of stitching done that today, this week, this past week, except for, um, Saturday and Sunday, which was supposed to be a big day of stitching for me. But, um, we had a, a, a trip come up that we hadn't planned on taking. And so naturally we, we jumped at it and we took it. So I'm going to talk about what little bit that I stitched. I do have a new start. I do have two Whipco pieces that I worked on this week and I have my new Whipco numbers that were called. And so I'll talk a little bit about what I plan on doing this week. So let's start with the last thing that I worked on. And that is something I'm still going to work on today to fulfill my Whipco dolls. And that is Blue Moon Angel by Lavender and Lace. If you're new here, this is a kit that I bought at a thrift store. This is a kit that I brought at a thrift store and it was partially done on 36 count dark blue even weave, not the fabric that was in the kit, but 36 count, which my eyes aren't good at dark fabrics and they're not good at 36 count. So I dyed some 16 count Ada, the same color roughly, and it's a little bit easier for me to see. And I do have this in a hoop because when I work on dark fabrics, or um, non-Ada fabrics, I do need to use a hoop. But since I'm doing, finished working on this today, I left it in the hoop. Okay, so here it is. This is Blue Moon Angel, and look y'all, she has hair. <laughs> um, I worked on her hair um, yesterday, and part of her little um, flower wreath in her hair, and oh my goodness, you know, it's one of those things when you're stitching it and you're like, why do I just have to put one of this color way over here? And then you look at it and you see her beautiful highlights and you realize that, oh yeah, that's why we do that. Um, so this is what I got done. I am hoping today to finish her floral wreath and her face. I would love to get her face done, but there she is. Isn't she pretty? Oh my goodness. So when I work on this today, this will fulfill my whip go goal for this month. Um, if you don't know what whip go, go, whip go is, I have a link down below for Jessie Marie Dustuff, and she is the founder of whip go. She started it and she explains it a lot better than I can, but it's essentially a bingo board. So if you play bingo, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll kind of know how it works. Um, my goal for every whip go piece is to stitch it four days out of the month. So with two numbers, I alternate weeks, two days a week. So there she is. Yay. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I am hoping to get her face done. And then I'm trying to decide if I want to tackle that moon all at once or just do bits of it. But I do know that I want to go down further in her dress, maybe work on her hand next time, further down in her dress. And um, before I start really tackling the moon. Um, so that is what Blue Moon Angel looks like. Um, when I started back cross-stitching, um, I really did not think I'd want to do people. Um, I picked up some old pieces, uh, my, um, is it Silent Night? That has, it's the nativity and the faces were just stressing me out. But I think it's because I did it on pretty dark linen. And back then when I did it, my eyes were fine and now they're, you know, 30 years older. <laughs> <laughs> and so they're not doing, uh, they're not as good at seeing those things as they used to be. So, um, anyway, so I am really enjoying working on this in my mirror, Um, 
Um, and I'm trying to decide if when she is done, I have a couple of other lavender and lace uh, patterns that I picked up at the thrift store. And I might actually uh, tackle one of those. I haven't decided yet. Anyway, so my other whip go piece for this month. And if you watched last week, you know what that is. It is Pandemic by Long Dog Samplers. And um, I'm going to show the whole thing. So I will back up a tad bit and uh, show you everything that I've done so far. There she is. And then this is, let me fold her up. I am using, while I'm doing this, I am using a 16 count Ada. I do believe it's 16 count. It's not 14 count and it's not 18. So um, it's just a white Ada. It's kind of grungy because I do need to wash it. And I am using a sampler block box of DMC floss from the 90s. And I'm hoping to use one of every color and one, you know, I'm hoping to use every color in this piece. So I think I figured out how I need to say it. <laughs> there it is. I worked, um, when you saw it last week, I had just done this. So I went ahead and I worked my way up and I finished that little strip right there. So the next time I pick it up, I'll probably fill in this. I think there's like another strip here and then another one here. And then this comes across. So I will work on that because I do want to wait. Mer Woo. I do want to work, work my way, <laughs> even with all of this at the top. Um. So, and if you remember correctly, I think that bouquet took me about three months of whip go calls <laughs> to finish it. So, um, you know, here's hoping. Um. I have decided that next month, pandemic, next month, next year, pandemic is going to go into my um, monthly rotation. <coughs> oh, y'all, I am so sorry. Excuse me. We'll go into my monthly rotation and um, I will work on it for um, two days. At least pick it up for one week for two days. Usually when I pick something up, I pick it up for two sometimes three days, but, um, rarely more than that. Um, anything more than that and I start getting bored with it. So, um, but I do want to work on it at least two days a month. Um, I don't think it's going to go back into Whipco. I'm going to have a, a separate Whipco list and it's going to, um, I lost my paper, y'all. It's going to go down to a separate list of things that I'm going to work on at least two days out of the month. I lost my notes, my notes for this video. Uh, and I need them. Oh, y'all. Welcome to my life. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to come back to y'all. I'm back. It was on the floor. Anyway. Ooh, we have small groups that start up tonight, so I'm, I'm trying to re get myself back into that routine but anyway so i will have a list for things that i want to do two days a week um and those will be like focus projects sort of and then i'll just have my regular stuff that i just decide what i want to work on whenever i feel like working on it but i do want to get pandemic mostly completed by the end of 2023 here's hoping okay so the next thing that I worked on was Jeanette Douglas bouquets. Um, I did not get August started, but I did get July done. So here are all of my bouquets. So as of right now, I'm just a month behind. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so here are my bouquets. And then I worked on July's, which is this one right here. July's done. And so uh, this week I will work on August and hopefully get that done and finish with the border up at the top. Um, this one took me, I don't know, my 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 mind was just wasn't into it when I was doing it. I kept setting it down and reading or setting it down and playing a game on my iPad. So um, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it, but there it is, <laughs> it's done. So I'm hoping to start August this week and hopefully, hopefully maybe catch up. 
I don't know, but this is a freebie for those of you that are new on Jeanette Douglas' blog. I do have a link below for that. I don't know what fabric I'm using. I know I use, I think it's mushroom that I used for, mm -mm, I bought this specifically, looks like. Anyway, I think it's mushroom and um, I'm using the DMC conversion that Jeanette provides for the bouquets. So that's it. There's a year in bouquets by Jeanette Douglas. Okay. And then I worked on City of Romance, and I don't have the cover sheet, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, but this is City of Romance, and this is by Stitch Rovia. I got this off of Readly, which I have a link below, um, in one of the magazines. I believe it's Cross Stitcher, but it is available on her Etsy store, and I also have that linked down below. So this is City of Romance. And then what I did was I came down and I just kind of filled in some spaces that I had, you know, just a couple of stitches and just worked on all those. I was hoping to do all this, but um, I don't know. For some reason, I just picked out those colors and started working on them. This is another piece that I do want to have set aside. I have, I, set, I have several projects that are pretty far gone. I mean, pretty far along that next year, I just want to say, okay, this has to get two days, at least a week, a month to do it, um, uh, worked on it. So this is one of them. This, I still love it. It's such a pretty, pretty one. And it is done on 16 count Ada that I dyed myself. And that's over here. So pretty. I love the colors. And then, then the last thing is I have a new start. This was not a planned start, but this is something I've been wanting to start. And um, I decided um, Thursday, I decided Thursday, I'm going to work on this all weekend. <laughs> that didn't happen. I'll tell y'all why after we're going to talk about personal stuff. And that is a mid Amish life. This is the the panel on the left, right? Y'all, I do that every time. On the right, I start in the lower right-hand corner for everything. So I'm going to do it a panel at a time. That way, if at some point I say, I've had enough, I'll just stop. That's a good plan, huh? And this is done on a blue even weave. Um, don't know the name of it, don't know the count. It was just a piece that I had that I measured and it fits, it'll fit. So this is what I did. I got that bottom border done. Not too bad for, I think a day or two stitching. It's a good start. Um, I'm looking at the way this is charted. And um, if you look at like this, it's very blocky in their colors. I mean, really it could have been, you know, like I can, sorry about the glare, y'all. Like, like I can say, okay, I'm gonna put all this dirt in, and it's it's not gonna be a problem. It's there's like four rows of brown, different color brown, where there's nothing else in it. It's kind of like the the black, where I can just I can just truck along and make stitches. It's not until you get up a little bit higher, but even then, it's it's blocks of color. There's not a whole whole lot of confetti type stitching going on, at least not until you get to the trees and whatnot. So that is a mid Amish life. And uh, so far so good, not a bad start. <laughs> so anyway, so that is the stitching that I got done. I have no haul, although I did just press a uh, place order for um, Backwater Shop, but it was not, um, it was not cross stitch stuff, it was quilting stuff. So anyway, so that is what I stitched. Okay, whip go for September numbers were called and I will be pulling out Christmas Garden, which I am excited about. And I will be pulling out Acadiana. And um, let me get those, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is Christmas Garden. This is out of a Blackbird design book. I don't know which one, I make working copies. So I can never remember what book it's out of, but I'll have it hopefully, uh, listed down below for you guys if I think about it I'm bad at that kind of stuff 
I say I'm going to do things and if I don't write it down, it doesn't get done. Okay. So this is where I'm at for Christmas garden. I have a lot left to finish. This will be another one. If it's not done by December, will go into my monthly. I will have four projects that will go into my monthly. Did I say I have three already? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the third one that is going to go into my monthly next year. So this is my whip go for September. This will get four days work. So that is where I'm starting. Um, I was doing this along with Kim, the contended stitcher and, uh, you know, she's done <laughs> not, but, um, anyway, uh, so that is, Christmas garden. And then the other one is called Acadiana. And it is a pattern that I picked up at a thrift store when I got back into the same thrift store. If I say I pick it up at a thrift store, there's usually just one that I go to. And it is actually a creative reuse store. I do go to estate sales too, but I got this at the thrift store. So this is called Acadiana. If you can't tell, I'm from Louisiana. Um, I am adjusting this pattern so that I can finish it. And I'm actually hoping to finish it this month. This is the last time it gets called. And so I'm really, really, really hoping to finish it. And um, I am going to take out the Magnolia, the um, Camellia. And I'm gonna take out the pot of crawfish as much as I'd like to leave it. I'm taking out the pot of crawfish and I am just leaving basically the swamp scene, the trees and <clears throat> the boat and probably the cattails. And uh, I'm taking the duck out. I don't want the duck in there. So this is where I'm at. This is done on a 14 count, you know, burlapy Ada. So that's where I'm at. So if it doesn't get done for this month's whip go, I will probably put it in my regular rotation at the beginning of the year. Um, just regular rotation being if I feel like stitching on it, I stitch on it. But I really want to finish it. I just want to get it done and um, move on. I enjoy it. I like it. You know, we have a wall of, you know, things that are um, Louisiana oriented, you know, things that we've a lot of flirtily, a lot of, uh, sorry, I'm looking at the wall, <laughs> a lot of flirtily, um, a lot of scenes that are photographs or paintings of Louisiana, especially the Acadiana area. So, um, anyway, so hopefully I can get this thing finished. Okay. That is it. That's my plans. I am working on, that's it for cross stitch. So if you're here for cross stitch and you don't want to hear about my quilting plans, you can move on. <laughs> but um, I am working on um, the quilt that I picked up at the thrift store. Um, it was some blocks that somebody had started working on and they didn't match up. And so I am working on a video where I am redoing them. And this is a little hint of what I'm doing. And so um, if you follow my Instagram account, you might see a difference. Um, but I'm hoping to get this video finished by um, this Friday and I can get it uploaded either Friday or Saturday. So this is what I'm working on. Um, I have another quilt that I picked up at that same thrift store blocks that I need to finish and then one that only two were done and I'm not sure if I'm gonna finish all of them or if I'm just gonna put the fabric in my stash and use it for something else so I haven't decided but I did order um Lori Holt has um and I'm not a huge okay I love Lori Holt's fabrics but her quilt styles are not necessarily something that I'm drawn to but she's got her new so simple shapes that are, they're called prairie, prairie shapes maybe, but they're very Baltimore album-esque. And I've always wanted to make one, but I hate applique. But her method is just really, really cool. I really like it. And I'm going to give it a shot with this quilt. I have a lot of, what I'm referring to is vintage reproduction. <laughs> 30s fabrics from the 90s and I will probably use those to make this quilt 
And so I pressed send and uh, I'm hoping those come in soon so that I can kind of start planning. Um, so that's what I have going quilt wise. Um, I'm, I'm also um, learning um, quilt as you go, which is what I'm doing for this little guy right here. And um, so that's kind of fun. Um, I don't have a quilt machine and I hate um, I don't, I don't want to say I hate, I'll do it. I'll, you know, but I don't like quilting on my domestic machine, a huge quilt. Um, it's just, it hurts my back. It hurts my neck. It hurts my shoulders. I'd rather hand quilt it. And, um, so I was watching this lady, um, on called her channel is pattern pool. And she has a really, really neat method for joining quilt as you go blocks that I really, really like. So I am going to be giving that a shot with this one. Let's see if it works. So when I get that video uploaded, it won't necessarily have um, how to do it because I'm going to reference you to her channel, but it will hopefully show at least that I've gotten one block done. I don't think I'll have them all done by Friday, but I want to get that video uploaded for you guys. So that's all I have stitching wise. Um, I did not get much stitching done this weekend because our oldest son and his fiance had planned a trip to New Orleans. And that's why I was like, oh, I'm going to get a lot of stitching done. And um, they got noticed, it was for a concert in New Orleans, um, that because of all the rain we've been having, the concert was canceled. And they didn't want to go just to go. And so um, we bought their <laughs> their hotel reservation from them. And my husband and I went out there um, for the weekend. We left Saturday. We came back Sunday. Um, I am not a huge fan of New Orleans. Um, I, I'm, it, it's too people-y. Too many people um too crowded uh it just i just don't like it i don't I mean, it's beautiful it's a beautiful city and we went actually during covid when there was hardly anybody there and it was just gorgeous i loved just seeing the city um, we didn't stay overnight we just drove there and back the same day and um the city's beautiful the area is beautiful um it's just the the, the crowds i i don't like <laughs> So anyway, but, um, so we did that. So we went, um, spent the day Friday and uh, Saturday and came back Sunday. And, um, then Sunday night I had a ladies event at church. So I didn't get much stitching done then. So, uh, yesterday was my day to sit and relax and just get some stitching done. So that is what I did working on my blue moon angel, which she was supposed to have been done Sunday. <laughs> she wasn't. So, um, so anyway, so that is what I did. And we had a great time just being together, just the two of us. Um, for those of you who don't know that, our oldest son, his fiance, do live with us. And so, um, you know, it's just kind of uh, nice to get away, you know, um, and not have to worry about anybody else. <laughs> not that we have to worry about them. I mean, they're in their almost 30s, you know, so it's not like we have to do anything with them. But anyway, it's just, it was nice. It was nice to get away with just my husband and just be us alone. So um, anyway, so that is all I have. Small groups start up tonight. So my Tuesday stitching is going to suffer. Um, but I enjoy our small groups at church. I enjoy the class that we teach. And um, it's one of the fav my favorite classes that I teach. And so um, we will be doing that. And so like I said, Tuesday stitching will be small but I'll get you know more done in other days hopefully um tomorrow night my husband has a board meeting at church so he'll be going late so I'll get some stitching done and um there's something at church Thursday but my husband said there's no way there's no way Thursday night after he's a teacher he gets up at <clears throat> between 4 30 and 5 in the morning so three nights of staying out late is just gonna wreck his his mind and uh he won't be a good teacher <laughs> so anyway but um anyhow so that's what we have going on and if you stayed with me this long thank you so much that's all i have on this video hopefully i'll get that quilt video uploaded for you guys friday or saturday hopefully by the weekend and um i will see you guys next week lord willing happy stitching guys Bye bye